Okay, tell me something about the project that you have here. What is this and how does it work and uh, what did you learn from it? And those are the things that I'm looking at. But, so, go first. This is an electrical circuit. It's connected in series and uh, what we had to do for this project was program a market controller and send and make LEDs light up in a certain order, wh whichever way we want it to go. It can go like here, 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 and left to right, left to right, right to left. But in this case, we just have it going um, from LED one, two, three, back to two, and then back to one. So it's not really going left to right. Okay, it's and going then, back and forth. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, we used uh, the materials included the Arduino uh, IDE. Can I see that? Can you open the device and show me what you have? Towards the right is the Arduino. Uh, the ID okay, on the right, okay. That's all. And on the left is the breadboard. Breadboard, okay. Uh, we used um, jump. Uh, so, what's the role of the Arduino in blinking up the lights? You want to answer that? Uh, so, the Arduino is what's programmed to send like the electric current to the LEDs. Without the Arduino, the LEDs won't light up because they don't have an order to light up in or how much like delay or how much electricity needs to go into it because the Arduino also provides the power from these pins electricity is given to the circuit and it's also grounded from the red wire so they ground the electricity coming in the breadboard the electricity goes on the top two and the bottom two it goes from side to side and from here and here it goes um, vertically oh yeah well you could, you could also say it's parallel because uh, it's connected um, like it's Three serious circuits yeah. are connected in parallel. Yeah. How do you upload the code from into this Arduino? How do you transfer the code into this? How do you do that? Uh, on the computer, you download a software called uh, Arduino IDE 128.2. Good and and then you program. Uh, you write the code. Yeah, you write the code. So the and then. And then you, there's an upload button, so you just attach it with the USB cable, the Arduino, to your computer. Things such as the time and the order of the, 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 the delay and the loop. And then you just upload it to the Arduino, and then it just keeps playing. So right now you can see that we don't have a computer plugged in. But since the software is already uploaded into the Arduino, there's no need to upload another software. So we can just plug it in, and there will be power, and the circuits will light up. Would you be able to develop your own coding skills using this? Yeah, we, we got the basics. Yeah. There is a circuit inside and it's connected to this Arduino software so we can um, change how they light up or in which direction. We can or change how fast. which direction by changing uh, the pin it's um, connected to. So if we write 12 and 11 here, so it's gonna we upload it. So it's gonna look yeah, we can also change the, um, we didn't actually do it, oh, oh it's going now. So, yeah. see that both of them are blinking at the same time, and this one's like the red one was before. We can also change the length by changing these numbers to make it go longer, we just do add a few zeros, and it's gonna go for a longer time now. So you can change the blink rate? Yeah. Okay. And the direction? And the direction of blinking? Yeah. And all this is done in the base of the code? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And... Uh, talk to me about the types of circuits that are present. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the types of circuits that are present. I think it's serious. Yeah. So How many series circuits are there? Three separate series circuits. Yeah. One is for the red LED, green LED, and yellow LED. But then they're all connected to one ground negative thing. thing over here, what do you call it? A, a resistor. resistor. Yeah. What is the role of the resistor in this one? The role of the resistor is to lower the actual, the lower the amount of electrons flowing to the light so it doesn't burn out. Okay. We wrote code on a computer and we okay. have to upload okay. it. So now, you answer me. Talk to you that the blinking rates are different. How do you manage that? And how do you get that to be implemented in this? Uh, for the to make them blink different times, we have to make uh, three sets of code, one for each light to turn on and off. Okay. And then uh, we have to put different paragraphs, uh, different lines of code after each other. So if we want to make red and yellow go uh, continuously, I keep putting those uh, a bunch of times. And for the speed, I just put a variable called LED speed. So then if I change that variable, then all the speeds will change. So, so in this project, we have three LED bulbs connected to our breadboard with a couple of resistors and a couple of grounding wires connected to a negative charge. 
and a couple power sources connected to an Arduino that's located right here. The three bulbs are connected in series to an Arduino project, an Arduino. And the Arduino was programmed on, on the computer with a, by a program called Arduino IDE. Okay. And on that program, we coded the, the sequence that the bulbs were. Okay, cutting, releasing, and uh, so basically we had to cut this out of, uh, you know the three granola bars in mm -hmm. the box? So we cut it out. And then we uh, cut a little slit to make uh, to put our green on stuff. And then uh, in the box, uh, we we, t uh, we glued uh, we glued uh, paper blue paper over the box, so uh, it looks kind of like a blue car. So, but basically, what we did, we've got three LED lights, fast, <laughs> and then we have resistor, and we have wires. We have an Arduino and we have a breadboard. Okay, so the lights blink because of the program that we have set it in. Can you look from here? How many types of circuits are demonstrated in this project? Uh, no, one. Explain what do you mean by one. It's uh, in parallel. I mean, sorry, series. How many series circuits? Three. Three, okay. So each bulb is connected in series to the... Yes. Okay. Show me all the parts of the project. Okay. Can you explain what, what each part is? So this is the Arduino and this is the breadboard. So you're supposed to connect the Arduino to the breadboard by these wires. And uh, like all of the have to be grounded. The breadboard go, uh, gets its um, power from the ground wire. And we connected the ground wire to the breadboard. And all of these um, LEDs are in parallel circuits as we connected the ground to like the negative um, side of the breadboard and then we connected like the wires which connect to the LED. Okay, and this is the power bank which gives the energy source. And our project is basically a traffic light. Okay. So explain why does it blink and how fast does it blink? Can it change the blinking rate? Yeah, we okay, will change the blinking rate okay. by the code. Yeah, what do you mean by code? <laughs> the Arduino. <laughs> so mm -hmm. It's the speed at which um the um at which the energy flows from the Arduino to the LEDs. Yeah, so you control it using code. So how do you transfer the code into the Arduino? It's the app application you use the software which is called the Arduino. You can so you can connect this to the laptop and then control the speed.